How to Handle Burnout, Signs and Recovery Tips You Need to Know. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're tackling a topic that's super important but often brushed aside, burnout. If you've been feeling overwhelmed, exhausted, or just plain fed up, this video is for you. We're going to break down what burnout really is, how to spot it, and most importantly, how to bounce back from it. So grab a comfy seat and let's dive in. What is burnout? Okay, so let's start with the basics. Burnout isn't just about being tired. It's a state of emotional, physical, and mental exhaustion caused by prolonged and excessive stress. It often happens when you're feeling overwhelmed, emotionally drained, and unable to meet constant demands. And trust me, it can happen to anyone, whether you're a student, a professional, or juggling multiple roles. Signs of burnout. All right, let's get real. How do you know if you're experiencing burnout? Here are some common signs to watch out for. One, chronic fatigue. Feeling drained and exhausted all the time, even after a full night's sleep. Two, sleep issues. Trouble falling asleep or staying asleep or waking up feeling unrefreshed. Three, irritability, getting easily frustrated or annoyed, even over small things. Four, lack of motivation, losing interest in things you once enjoyed or feeling unmotivated to tackle tasks. Five, physical symptoms, experiencing headaches, stomach issues, or other stress-related ailments. Six, isolation, pulling away from friends, family, and social activities. How to recover from burnout. Okay, now that we know what burnout looks like, let's talk recovery. Getting back on track might take some time, but it's totally possible. Here are some tips to help you bounce back. One, recognize and accept. The first step is acknowledging that you're burnt out. It's okay to admit that you need help or a break. Two, set boundaries. Learn to say no and set limits on your workload. Protect your time and energy. Three, take breaks. Schedule regular breaks throughout your day and take time off if you need it. Self-care isn't selfish. Four, reconnect with yourself. Rediscover activities and hobbies that bring you joy. Doing things you love can help recharge your emotional batteries. Five, seek support. Talk to friends, family, or a mental health professional. Sometimes, just sharing what you're going through can make a big difference. Six, practice mindfulness. Incorporate mindfulness or meditation into your daily routine to help manage stress and stay grounded. Seven, healthy lifestyle. Focus on eating well, exercising regularly, and getting enough sleep. A healthy body supports a healthy mind. Moving forward. Remember, burnout isn't a sign of weakness. It's a signal that something needs to change. By recognizing the signs and taking proactive steps, you can recover and prevent future burnout. It's all about finding balance and taking care of yourself. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button for more content like this, and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. Share your experiences and tips for dealing with burnout in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Stay strong, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.